Ну что, hello everybody, this is Hyundai Creta. I'm going to say a bunch of crap since you're going to be translating, so I'll try to make it funny. This is my car. What do you think we are? This is my job. I am working the weekend, I am working the weekdays, I am always working. So this is where I'm filming right now. This is my car again. This is how it looks. Today I changed from summer tire to winter tires because we have to do this. So you guys see the snowflakes? Snowflakes mean winter tires and that's just some crap on there, don't worry about it. Tell your subscribers this is what Belarus license plates look like. I like it so much. Own it by two years. Bought it for 15000 Yeah, you can't really buy cars like that here. You guys in America have much different cars, but this is what we have here. No accidents, no, not even hit a curb, so nothing, just pretty high clearance on this thing, so for our roads, it's, it's great. I got Parktronic sensors back here, you can see, I got backup camera, we're all good. Let's look under the hood for a sec, and then the trunk. Trying to figure out how to open the hood without dropping the phone. So we'll fig have to figure it out. Putting the phone down. Not very comfortable, but I think I got it. It's a 1.6 liter very basic engine and very basic automatic transmission. I have to replace the battery here. The one that the car came with wasn't very good. It's pretty clean. Nothing is leaking. Everything is pretty tidy. It's a 2017. I own it uh, two years already. I did add this aftermarket, uh, this is insulation for the winter, as well as sound deadening material. So it didn't come with any type of material here at all, so I ended up adding it afterwards. I also added the engine cover, for some reason it didn't come with one, so I just bought it separately to make it look nice. 110 horsepower, 110. Let's take a look inside here. Seat covers, I added them as well after. This is uh, like eco leather, so it, they look real, but they're not real leather. So what do we have here? Just some basic buttons on the steering wheel. Speaker phone, Bluetooth, different settings. It's a trip uh, reset. It did not have cruise control. That was optional. Power windows, locks, mirrors, all the basics. It's plastic all around. It's not very luxurious. I am not sleeping on it. I'm not sleeping with it. Some people are upset. I'm okay. I would much rather just have this plastic than something extremely expensive. Just want to save some money and have something reliable. 
automatic transmission. Very reliable. Got heated seats and uh, hill descent control, traction control, and headlight leveling. And we got a finger in the camera. <laughs> Just so that YouTube will not block you, let me block uh, or turn down the volume. 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers. I stress kilometers. Got automatic climate control with AC. So obviously with AC, uh, economy will go down. Without it, the opposite. This is an aftermarket uh, system that I put myself. It did not come with it, but it's pretty much a factory from a higher level system, from a higher level car. And it can connect to the internet, it can connect to all the different multimedia. <laughs> the Americans are gonna uh, catch you for me playing American songs if I try to do it. Glasses holder. For the Russian market, it comes with something similar to OnStar, where you can call an emergency vehicle to come to you. In Belarus, it does not come with that feature, so it just blank. We don't care about each other here in Belarus, so... <laughs> Only Lukashenko cares about us, so nobody else does. Got some mirrors here. Women usually sit on the passenger side, so that's why it comes with mirrors. Although my wife just recently got her driver's license. We got some child seats. We got two girls. <laughs> Your subscribers obviously don't care about my kids. I can even fart here, but I'm not going to do that. Cigarette lighter. Got some aux uh, and another power output there. Cup holders. That's a trash can slash uh, cigarette. Um, all right, ashtray slash garbage can. Look at that. This is napkins <laughs> from Domino's Pizza are crap. But they were giving them away for free, so I took some crap. All right, let's move over to the back to see what's going on there. You guys can see all the luxuries. I'm going to say the word crap a lot, and I use that term loosely, so you can do whatever you want, but... You can translate it. All right, I got a booster seat here, so I'll just go to the other side here to show you. Look at this green grass we have in Belarus. Oh, we have, we have green grass because of Chernobyl radiation. You guys probably don't have green grass there. <laughs> got a lot of space here. Very comfortable, very big car, relatively speaking, it's pretty high up, a lot of vertical space. Got some floor mats, this is how it looks from the rear. I repeat, I do like the car. Got some airbags. There, there, there. Everywhere. Maybe in the ceiling, I don't know. But, so basically everywhere is airbags, but maybe not from the ceiling. <laughs> you got... <laughs> you got... Uh, your brain is on top. Uh, not gonna be hurt, so don't worry about it. 
power windows. So we call it fully loaded. Okay, opening the back. We got some pretty space, a very good trunk with 530 liters of capacity. Yeah, pretty space. Uh, very roomy trunk. Got some floor mats. Got spare tire, I think, down there. So. Gotta move this. There we go. Spare tire. I never took it out. Never really do anything with that space. It's standard. Uh, windshield, windshield washer fluid that doesn't freeze, so haven't had to use it this year yet. So the good thing is that the child seat fits, so I'm good. 530 liter space. Camera. Very convenient. Alright, I think I made it. 11 minutes, short little video. And you can do with it however, whatever you want. And you can translate however you want. I am a YouTuber and blogger just like you. Alright, that's it. We'll send you the video. Ciao, bye.